Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on changing colors in Photoshop and I have an image open here. What I want to do is to change the color of the knitting. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to select the knitting and I suggest that you start with the quick selection tool. I'm just going to target that tool and I'm going to start dragging over my knitting. Now it's at this point that things get a little bit detailed. So you're going to have a bit of trouble getting the edges of the knitting and the knitting across the knitting needle. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm just going to zoom in. With the quick selection tool, I dragged over the knitting that I wanted and then I used the Alt key or Option key on a Mac to just drag over the area that I wanted to remove from that selection. And you'll need to go through your image or whatever image you're using to do pretty much just the same thing. So it took me a few minutes to get a really good selection here, but I have got a good selection and I've got it in a mask here. So let me just turn that on so you can see how my selection looks. You can see the stitches are selected here and it does a pretty good job of working with this image. So what you're going to do is as soon as you've made your selection using the quick select tool, so let's just make a selection, you're going to come here to the background layer and you're going to drag it onto the new layer icon so you make a duplicate of that layer. And then on the topmost version of the image, just going to click here on add layer mask. And what that does is it adds a layer mask for the selected area. Of course, you're going to select the whole piece of knitting. I just made a selection just to show you how it was done. So I'm going to get rid of this layer because it's nowhere near complete and I'm going with the one that I have already created. So I've got a layer with the entire image on it and then I have a layer with just the knitting on it. Let me just expand out of there by pressing Control or Command Zero. So the knitting is virtually on its own separate layer. Now I want to color this piece of knitting to match the lavender here. What I'm going to do is add a new layer. So I'm going to choose layer, new fill layer, solid color. I'm going to click here on use previous layer to create clipping mask. That's going to make life a little bit easier for me. And what that's doing is it's going to clip this color layer to just the shape on the layer below, which is just the knitting. You can do this afterwards, but it's a little bit easier if you do it now. So I'm just going to do that and click OK. Now I get to choose my color and I can sample a color from the image here. So I'm just clicking with the eyedropper tool on the area of the image that I want to sample the color from. And you can see I'm getting these sort of mauve and sort of gray purple colors. Could also get the coffee color if I wanted, or I could get some green here from the stems of the plants. So I want a sort of lilac color, so that's what I'm looking for now. And when I find one, if it's a little bit dark, I can make it a little bit lighter. So I can just drag up or across. Across will remove some of the saturation, dragging up will make it a bit lighter. If your color picker doesn't look like my color picker does, go here and click on the H button, because you'll see that the S and the B and the others all look very different, but if you click on the H button, the Hue button, this is what you see. It makes it a little bit easier to select your colors. So when you've got your color, just click OK. Next, we need to blend this color in with the layer below, and we're going to do that by selecting color from the blend modes list. So on the color layer here, you're just going to target the color layer, and you're going to blend it using the color blend mode. And that blends the color in with the image underneath, and this is the result that you get. If the color isn't right, then it's a really easy fix. Double click on this thumbnail here to reopen the color picker. And now you can go ahead and just adjust the color. Or you could resample another color from the image should you wish to do so. So there you have it, making a color change in Photoshop. And the most difficult part of this really is probably making the selection in the first place. In the description below is a link to download this image from unsplash.com. Thank you to the photographer who offered it up at unsplash.com. So you can go and do exactly the same thing with that image should you wish to do so. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And until next time, I'm Helen Bradley, and my website is projectwoman.com.